Hello everyone, it's me ASMR if welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today we'll edit outdoor portrait photography. So just opening it up in Photoshop 2020 and you know that this type of uh, outdoor type photo is uh, too much easy to edit if you know the proper way to uh, edit uh, your photographs. All the steps of editing this type of photo. So at first if I analyze the photo, if I zoom it in here's some spot in a face you have to remove that face spot just because of the beauty purpose so here some spot healing brush tool or you can use these uh, the camera filter 12.3 so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i'm using here a spot healing brush tool make sure that continuer is selected and the blending mode that is normal and the brush size 25 so if you want you can change the brush size by pressing third bracket and opening and closing just select once or you can make it more zoom okay and you can select once it will take the non-affected area and provide the pixel in this portion and make sure that the spot size and the brush size is a little bit uh, like a similar otherwise it won't work properly so in this area this area this area it's taking the pixel from the other uh, side or beside and taking this one uh, non-affected so in this case you have to make it more smaller select ones be careful when you are uh, removing the spot otherwise it could be spoil your photographs actually i used um, uh, i forget to make any copy of these uh, photographs okay this one is uh, before and after this one is after giving the name okay fine and the this one is before and i'm locking this up yeah okay before and after okay and now i'll open it up in camera filter select this one by pressing right press convert to smart object make this one suppose i want to make this one and the changes in future this one will help me out so go to the filter camera filter so i'm using uh, the camera filter which is the 12.3 actually you can get the download link in my video description from here i'll add some shadow just because of in this side that means the right side we are getting uh, not shadow properly adding some shadow that's good and the texture a little bit up clarity a little bit down exposure a little bit up and the highlight a little bit down contrast a little bit up okay fine i'll make the vibrance down and the saturation a little bit up here temperature and tint if you want to make this one moody color uh, you have to directly go to the color mixture options and from here uh, down the green color if you want i'm making the green color down and hue which hue you want to give in this photo i want to give this one like a little bit aqua and here uh, some portions the reds actually this red i want to make it a little bit yellowish and the luminance a little bit up orange and yellow up okay that's fine the purple color magenta and purple you can work with that so now i'll go to the calibration options from here you are getting three primary colors red green and blue and from here if i work with the green color it will effect like that and the green will be like this and like this okay that's fine and now i'll go to the split toning for matching the shadow color and highlight color you know that splitting the tone with the two portions the highlight portion and the shadow portion so for the hue you are getting the options to pick up the color and the saturation the percentage of the color so find the highlight hue which type of highlight hue you want to apply in your photographs this one is good 139 and the saturation 10 is good for this case i'll make it 10 for the shadow color i'll make the shadow color 
so which one is perfect for this you have to find it out if you want to make it warmer you can do like that or like this so that's fine i think this one will help me out actually warm type color this color is good okay now I'll go to the temperature and tint options from the basic panel so i'm making the temperature up and the tint i'll make the tint like that and the highlight i'll make it down okay so before and after huge change and i'm saving this preset and i'll provide that preset to you for your editing purpose and you can use that preset in your lightroom as well giving the name like a this type of uh, outdoor outdoor girl i'm giving the name and you can download this preset by checking my video description it's taking time to load it up and let's see the before actually the before and after so in future if you want to edit any kind of uh, features here is some small and you can just double press over there it will open up over there now i'll go to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro 4 this color effects pro 4 is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so here i'm pressing the ok and update later and here is a cross processing lots of method actually but i do love to use a cross processing just because of here lots of method to find it out which is easier to give decision or take decision for this type of photo editing so which color is perfect for this editing i have to find I think this one is good l03 in your case it could be uh, another one so you have to find it out and hit the ok button after taking or pressing the ok button it will take time to load it up and providing in the output now i will finally add some like grammar and other stuff so going to the curves options from here just making it up and this portion i'll making it down so it's giving the grammar and giving the mood tone okay after that going to the levels options for the lighting's purpose from here i'll make the light up like that okay after that i'll go to the color lookup options from here i'll choose the foggy night and then make the opposite down like 15 percent is good for that if you want you can change the blend mode but i don't want to change the blend mode so before one let's see the before one the normal uh, raw raw type image but after one you're getting this type of uh, moody type creative effects so you can follow my way to make this one this type of the similar tone thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for the new notifications and new pieces and the uh, uh, tutorials as well until the next video i am a7 is sending out today stay safe stay at home bye bye